Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Being Real. I am Joe. Get used to the face. Get used to the pace. As you know, we move quickly. Speaking of which, we're going to jump right into today's topic, which is part two, part two of return on investment versus profit. Four different ways to to finance a uh, real estate deal. So if you haven't watched part one, you definitely have to go watch it because we're going to jump in right now with the fourth investment strategy. And you really need to know parts one, two, and three. So I'll do a quick recap, but you really need to go see them. We do parts one, two, and I'm sorry, part one, we talked about investment strategies one, two, and three, which are all cash, a conventional loan, and a hard money loan. And we saw how those investment, the returns on investment went up from a percentage standpoint, and how our profits went slightly down. Definitely see number one, part one. Now, our fourth investment strategy in this same scenario that we're talking about, which is the $100,000 purchase on the $50,000 of rehab and the $200,000 sales price. Our fourth investment strategy is the hard money private lender combo that we talked about in other videos. And different than strategy number three, which you've already watched part one, right? Strategy three was the hard money loan at 120,000. Strategy number four is the hard money private money lender where we do the combo. And we do the hard money loan at 120,000. And then we get our private investor. Remember we're talking about our mom and pop shops, the dentist, the whoever it is that's got the, they're easier to get to because you have your smaller amounts that are needed and the returns are very attractive for them. That's another video, but assuming all things to be equal, assuming you've already watched it, we're going to put that in place here. And this is our fourth strategy. So we're going to be at a hundred percent financing on the project. We're going to have $120,000 hard money loan in first position. And we're going to go out and we're going to borrow that other 30,000 in a second position because we're going to be able to do that because we've built that relationship. We've, we're offering the really, really nice return on investment for them. And we have the extra equity. The end of the project is 200,000. So it, it makes sense. The lenders will absolutely do this. And I'll show you how. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button, by the way, right when you're getting ready to answer, ask me that question of where do you find these people? No problem. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll tell you where to find them. Now, you've gone out, now you've got your 120000 on your first. You have $30,000 that you have to your private investor. That completes your project cost. You now complete the project and you sell for your two hundred. Now we're going to do our math a little bit differently. We're going to have the $5,500. we are making $50,000, right? That's the standard across all four strategies. Now we're talking about taking that $5,500 off for the hard money loan, same as it was in strategy number three. But this time we went out and borrowed that thirty, the last $30,000 from the private investor. And remember, if you saw the video uh, that I did on this private investors, it's, this money's expensive. It is definitely expensive. And most of the times we use a one-third rule, which is one-third of whatever small amount they're bringing in, which in this case was $30,000, they're going to get a third of that as a return. That is expensive, absolutely. In this case, it's going to be about $10,000. However, you take the $10,000 off, you take the $5,500 off, and now instead of $50,000 profit, you have thirty four point five. dollars now, you saw when we were at 44.5, we are at 148% return on investment. Now, if you have only 34.5, you took $10,000 less, but what's your return on investment? Right. It's infinite because you have no money into the project. So a quick recap and then a quick discussion on which one is better. Number one showed us a $50,000 profit using all cash and a 33% return on investment. Conventional loan method, which was strategy number two, showed us a 66% return on investment and a $46,500 profit. Strategy number three showed us the, the hard money loan 
was a 148% return on investment. Profit dropped to 44,500. And strategy number four, hard money, private money combo. We're out of pocket zero. We only made 34.5 for an infinite return. There is no number you can put on that ROI. So you can see as you leverage, as you choose to leverage, your return on investment goes up. And a lot of investors and a lot of financial institutions, this is all they care about. This is all they care about because you're turning over and turning over and turning over and turning over. It's perpetual. And you're going to do it again and again and again and again. So it's it's a matter of how many times can you do it. It's not really, it's not a time-based thing. Now, which one is better? You're talking about higher profit margins. Would you rather have $50,000 and spend all of your own money or spend none of your own money and have 345 well, that's a personal question, and that's up to each individual. And there's the other two that are in between. Remember, you're all, all over the board on this one. You're between 50 out of pocket, 30 out of pocket, 20 out of pocket, I believe it was, and uh, you're 150 out of pocket, I'm sorry, 70 out of pocket, 30 out of pocket, zero out of pocket. The difference between being $150,000 out of my own pocket and getting a return of 33%, I'm looking at it more of what my exposure is. My exposure is $150,000. So that all the way down through number four leaves us with zero money out of pocket and a $34,500 return. 150000 out of pocket and make forty six thousand, make 50000 or 150000 none of it out of pocket and you're making 34.5. Well, that's up to the individual. But again, the key is what are you more comfortable with? Return on investment or profit margin? I say leverage. Leverage as much as you can, as often as you can. Take the return on investment. Take the infinite return. Leverage everything you can and keep doing it and keep doing as many numbers as you can. Disagree? Let me know in the comments below. Definitely hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Hope this helped. If you'd like to... Any, have any questions, put them in the comment section below. If you want specific consultation time, let me know. We'll set that up too. All right. Thanks for tuning in.